Hi, this is Charlie Hesse from Tropical Birding and welcome to this virtual bird tour of Thailand. Um, I've been leading tours to Thailand for over 10 years and a couple of years ago I decided to move here with my family, so it's a very special place for me. Um, it's fantastic birding, um, it's very diverse, you can see um, over 500 species of birds, um, some great mammals too, um, and some really wonderful photo opportunities. It's got a really fascinating culture and there's some really delicious food, so I hope you enjoy it. We'll start with a map. Uh, the main tour focuses around central and uh, northern Thailand. We start the tour in Bangkok and we're going to drive along the Gulf of Thailand to our first site of Lempak Bia. Um, we're going to start birding in uh, the mangroves where we take a boat ride along a channel and along here we can see birds like white-breasted water hen and there's some nice kingfishers like black cap kingfisher, um, collared kingfisher, common kingfisher. We're going to get out at the Lempak Bia sandspit and set up our scopes and look for some rare shorebirds. This is one of our targets, the Malaysian plover, and another one, the globally threatened Chinese egret. Next, we're going to go to Pak Thale. Um, this is a large area of um, salt pans. Um, people make these big square ponds and fill them with salt water and then they let the water evaporate um, and the salt crystallizes. They scrape it into piles and then they send it to, to be refined. Um, when the, the, the water level and salt concentration reach uh, sort of um, suitable levels, um, they attract thousands of um, water birds and shorebirds. Um, this is one bird that we can see there, the um, beautiful painted stalk. One of the common shorebirds is the black-winged stilt, and other ones include common redshank, sanderling, greater sand plover, and the black-tailed godwits, and great knot, Goldman's green shank, uh, which is one of the um, local rarities. One of the commonest birds is a redneck stint, um, and we have to scan through thousands of these to look for our main target, which is a spoon-billed sandpiper. Um, it's it's um, distinctive bill shapes, not always um, visible from every angle, uh, but when you see it from the front, it's really quite unmistakable. Um, this is a critically endangered bird. Um, they're in real danger of becoming extinct, um, so I would um, go and look for them sooner rather than later. Um, you can see in the back there, there's some redneck stints um, with a little uh, probing um, feeding behavior and in the foreground the uh, spoon-billed sandpiper which uses its um, spoon-bill as like a shovel uh, shoveling the sediment. So a really uh, unique bird and a big target of the tour. Next we're going to head up to the hills. We're going to go to Kankrachan National Park where there's some very beautiful semi-evergreen um, and hill forest. There's some nice uh, mammals there including this uh, dusky langur. It's got really uh, distinctive white eye rings and a white mouth and they like to feed on, on leaves. Um, the juvenile is very different color from the adults and they get this um, really bright orange color. Um, one of the biggest um, target groups is uh, the broadbills. This is a banded broadbill, a black and yellow broadbill, black and red broadbill, and silver-breasted broadbill. Um, there's six in total and we've got a good chance to see a few of those, but really uh, um, really distinctive, um, wonderful birds to see. Um, some other good birds they include the uh, crimson sunbird, and there's also a lot of nice um, butterflies in the area. Um, outside the park, some entrepreneurial uh, individuals have set up some photographic blinds, um, and there's some really nice birds that come into them, and they're a wonderful opportunity to take photos. Um, a lot of forest flycatchers include these uh, several species of, of blue flycatcher, it's the end of Chinese blue flycatcher. Um, also, you can get um, racketail tree pies. People often comment that this is, um, uh, that the book really doesn't do this bird justice. It's got a really beautiful um, velvety texture on the head and this gorgeous blue eye. Um, one of the big targets is going to be the blue pitta. Um, you may know pitters are extremely difficult birds to find um, 
and yeah, these um, photographic blinds are a wonderful opportunity to, to photograph this, um, this difficult bird. And there's some other great birds like uh, green magpie and some uh, several species of laughing thrush, like the lesser necklace laughing thrush. And here are some greater necklace la laughing thrushes feeding on grain. Some nice woodpeckers too, like the greater yellow nape and grey headed woodpecker. Um, there's a lot of very difficult birds to see, which um, which we can see from these blinds, um, like the slippy leg crake, um, and there's several uh, game birds like this um, scaly breasted partridge. A uh, really nice opportunity to see these um, feeding. They sort of scrape away the uh, the leaves to um, uncover the grain. Here's um, another partridge. This is bar-backed partridge. Um, you can see the very distinctive patterning on the back there. This is a wild descendant of the uh, domestic chicken. This is a red jungle fowl. Um, and there's also some other uh, pheasants, including the Kalish pheasants, this is the male, and here's a female. And the most difficult of all is the, um, the gray peacock pheasant. It's a really tough bird, but uh, one of the blinds has been set up as occasionally coming. So, um, you can see some mammals there as well. This is the lesser mouse deer. Um, okay, so that's Kankra Chan. Um, next, we're going to drive um, back um, through Bangkok and then up to Khao Yai National Park. You may have seen the movie The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio, but in the beach there was a beautiful waterfall, and that's one of the waterfalls in this uh, national park. Um, some nice trails um, along the riversides, and there's a really beautiful, lush um, forest. One of the big target groups in the park are the hornbills. Uh, this is great hornbill, a really uh, majestic bird. Other large hornbill are the, uh, the wreathed hornbill, and the smaller species, uh, an oriental tide hornbill. Another very special bird in the park is the uh, Siamese fireback type of pheasant. Um, very difficult bird to see, but sometimes in the early morning they come out on the roadside. Um, this is really the holy grail of, um, of Thai birding, the coral-billed ground cuckoo, the mega bird. Um, normally, um, practically impossible to see um, on the trails, but um, some Thai photographers have uh, in the past set up some feeding sites and we've uh, been lucky enough to see this very rare bird. Um, along the trails, we can also see red-headed trogon. Um, another type of broadbill, this is a long-tailed broadbill. A little bit easier to see here than at uh, uh, Kankra Chan. And um, white crested laughing thrush um, move around in, in mixed flocks, sometimes with um, black throated laughing thrush. This is a very special bird. This is the, uh, the eared pitta, very, very rare. Many guides haven't seen this. Um, in the last couple of, uh, last few tours, we've, um, we've found some nice uh, stakeouts for this bird, and we've been lucky enough to show this to some clients. Um, Kawiai is also fantastic for um, for mammals. This is a white-handed gibbon, um, more often heard than seen, but sometimes uh, when you've got a nice fruiting tree, they'll come down. A uh, very common primate in the park are the pig-tailed macaque. Uh, you can see some young ones here playing in the river. Um, yeah, very playful uh, young ones getting up to all sorts of mischief there. Um, some of the adults can be... Uh, a bit of a problem. They've um, they sometimes are attracted to, to food, and they'll if you if you carry bags of food, they'll come and um, try and take it off you. Um, yeah, this is a, a sign to that effect. Um, yeah, this is the, uh, having a bit of fun. Um, the samba deer are also quite common in the park, um, and also have become quite tame. And you can see those coming into the restaurant, sometimes even feeding off the table, which is. Uh, not to be encouraged. This is another type of deer. You can see the uh, red munchak. Um, in Khao Yai, there's also a large population of wild Asian elephants. Um, sometimes you get uh, uh, large solitary males coming out on the roads. Um, sometimes you get cars um, uh, stopping to take pictures of these. Sometimes people uh, getting a little bit closer than they should. This is a, uh, a younger male. Uh, the young, uh, the adolescent males get uh, kicked out of the matriarchal herds 
Um, yeah, and they have to spend a solitary life. Um, if you're very lucky, you can see the uh, the larger groups of females and uh, young ones. And there are some clalix which they come into. Um, yeah, but it's a real uh, privilege. Um, Asian elephants are much more difficult to see than African elephants, and mainly forest animals. Um, but yeah, it's very uh, special to see these in the wild. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, the largest lake in Thailand now, called Bung Bora Pet, a few hours drive. Um, this was home to the white-eyed river martin, which was discovered in 1968 and last seen in about 1980, almost certainly extinct now. Um, we're going to take a boat ride on the lake with a local boatman who knows a lot of good um, stakeouts for birds. Um, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity for photography. You get quite close to birds. These are... Uh, this is a bronze-winged jacana, a pheasant-tailed jacana. You can also see grey-headed uh, swamp hens. And there's lots of species of herons and egrets. This is the yellow bitten, one of the rarer ones. Uh, you can also see pied kingfishers. And we've bird the edge, uh, the muddy edges of the lake, looking for some other shorebirds. This is a little ringed plover. Um, often see um, Raptors. This is the uh, Eastern Marsh Harrier, and you can see one here has picked up a flock of Gargany. Gargany winter here in, in large numbers, it's, um, flocks of thousands. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the map again. So we've got to Bung Barapet. Now we've got a long drive to the north, um, and in the north we're going to explore several uh, mountain sites. Um, on the way, we're going to stop at a stakeout for the endangered um, green peafowl. Um, some come out of the forest in the late afternoon um, into the local uh, orchards and here yeah, sometimes you're lucky enough to see them um, displaying. Okay, so we've arrived at Doyentanon. This is our hotel. It has very uh, um, wonderful grounds for birding. Uh, it's located just outside uh, um, Doyentanon National Park. Uh, Doyentanon is the highest mountain in Thailand, uh, over 2,500 2, meters, um, over 8,000 feet, um, and it's got some really um, beautiful uh, montane rainforest. It's got some really special birds up there, uh, like this green-tailed sunbird, uh, the local subspecies that are only found on this uh, mountain top. And some other birds we might see include um, chestnut-tailed minlet, silver-eared laughing thrush. Uh, Himalayan shortwing, uh, yellow cheeked tit, and a bit lower down we might see a uh, spectacled barwing um, and a lot of Philoscopus warblers. Um, this is one of the resident ones called uh, Ashy Throated Warbler. Okay, we're going to go down for, lun uh, for lunch at Mr. Deng's uh, in Thanon Bird Center. Mr. Deng has been uh, serving bird watchers for, for decades. There's almost no bird watchers in, in Thailand. Um, don't know him. Okay, in the afternoon we're going to go and check out some rivers and waterfalls for some special birds. One of the birds we're going to be looking for is the slady-backed um, forktail, also the uh, white-capped water redstart, and blue whistling thrush. Um, lower down on the mountain there's a different type of forest, a dry deciduous forest, and there's some very special birds down there too. Um, this is one we'll be looking for called the blossom-headed parakeet. Um, the black-headed um, woodpecker and the uh, collared falconet. Um, these are wonderful little birds. It's one of the smallest raptors in the world, and you can see a pair of them uh, preening here. We've got a very nice stakeout for them, and we almost always find them in the same spot. Um, down at the bottom at night, we can also uh, go around looking for some nightjars. Uh, we've seen up to three species of nightjar in one spot. Okay, we're going to move on to Doi Chang Dao now. It's another one of um, Thailand's highest mountains. There's a temple there called Wat Tham Pa Plong, um, and we're going to bird the temple steps. There's 500 steps, but we take it very slowly, uh, birding on the way. Up at the top, um, there's a platform, and it's almost, yeah, it's almost like a canopy platform. You can look out, there's a 360 degree vista. And it's a wonderful place to set up your scopes and look for canopy birds. It's a great place to look for barbets, uh, like this coppersmith barbet, uh, blue-throated barbet, and blue-eared barbet. You can also see uh, orange-bellied leaf bird. 
Um, there's a trail a bit lower down with some wonderful birds like this uh, Sultan Tit, um, orange breasted trogon, um, velvet fronted nuthatch, and also some flocking birds like uh, greater ragtail drongo and white browed similar babbler. It's a great place for owls as well. This is a common diurnal species called the Asian barred owlet, um, and there's also several uh, different um, nocturnal um, owls that we can go for looking at, uh, for at night. Okay, next we're going to go to uh, Doi Ang Kang, which is known as the coldest town in Thailand, which doesn't say much because Thailand's a pretty hot country in general, but it's got some uh, very beautiful mountain scenery and some really nice birds. This is one of our big targets there. It's called the giant nuthatch, sort of a medium-sized bird, but um, yeah, many uh, time, two or three times bigger than the uh, regular nuthatches. Um, we can see some different woodpeckers there, like this striped-breasted woodpecker and some other wonderful birds, including the scarlet-faced Leo Sikla. It's one of my personal favorites. Uh, down in Doyang Kang, there's a royal agricultural project. Um, and down there, they've got lots of nice flowering trees um, where you can see some sunbirds, like um, Mrs. Gould's sunbird, and some cherry trees where, uh, that bring in uh, birds like spotwing grosbeak. They've got some feeders down there as well, uh, and you can see other birds like uh, Dorian Redstart, black-breasted um, thrush, white-tailed robin, um, silver-eared mesia, and hill blue flycatcher. Okay, we're going to go on up to another mountain called Doi Lang. Doi Lang has uh, really revolutionized um, bird photography in Thailand. They've set up a lot of feeding sites up there, and there's some really wonderful photographic opportunities. One of the big targets up there is Hume's pheasant. Um, used to be an incredibly difficult bird to see, but now we um, go up to the feeding site at dawn, we've got a very good chance to see it. Um, there's some wonderful photographic opportunities. Sometimes they flap their wings or chase, chase each other around on the road. Um, another bird that comes into this feeding site is a mountain bamboo partridge. A little bit further along, there's some feeding sites with um, with mealworms. Uh, this is one of the species that comes in there, called the rusty cheeked similar babbler. Uh, they use a long bill to sort of probe in the crevices. Um, other birds that come in include uh, white browed uh, laughing thrush and some really normally very difficult to see uh, flycatchers like white gorget flycatcher, um, Siberian ruby throat, uh, rufous bellied miltava, and ultramarine flycatcher. Um, there's some other um, there's some fantastic regular birding up there as well, away from the feeders. Um, and you can see some good birds like uh, black-throated tit, uh, spot-breasted parrotbill, uh, crested finchbill, uh, many of which reach the very limit of their distribution here. Okay, next we're going to go down to a, a town called Bantaton, and there's a, we stay at a lovely resort there. Um, um, it's got fantastic food. We've had great food throughout the tour, but here it's especially good. Uh, and they serve things like uh, Thai green curry, uh, red curry, masaman curry with peanuts, um, and the uh, milder uh, tom kha gai, which is like a sort of um, chicken soup with uh, coconut milk. Um, if you don't like spicy food, there's lots of options uh, of non-spicy dishes as well. Um, you often see uh, they often serve some. Um, unusual fruits, which you might not have seen before, like this dragon fruit. Okay, we're going to go and bird along the river. Um, this is the Maycock River, which is a tributary of the Mekong. Uh, one of our targets here is a small pratting hole. We're also going to look for some other shorebirds along the river, uh, like this Temming Stint. There's a lot of domestic buffaloes in the area, um, and sometimes you'll see other birds sort of perching on their back like this uh, great miner. Okay, we've almost come to the end of the main tour. We're going to drive down to the airport in Chiang Rai, and on the way we'll stop at an arboretum, where sometimes they have um, a uh, Hodgson's frogmouth nest, which is a really wonderful opportunity to see this rare bird. Okay, so, um, and from there we fly back to Bangkok, where we finish the main tour. Um, those that are going to join the southern tour, we're going to fly from Bangkok to southern Thailand and Phuket. Um, and we start our birding in southern Thailand um, in the mangroves. Um, 
um, at the Aupanga National Park. Uh, one of our targets down there is the mangrove pitta, and we also look for the brown winged kingfisher. Okay, we're going to drive up to Khao Sok uh, National Park, a um, good place to see uh, long tailed macaques and several uh, common uh, birds like the uh, orange bellied flowerpacker, um, grey headed canary flycatcher. Um, it's also a good place to look for flying lizards. Uh, these sort of run up, run up the trunk of trees and then jump off and they spread out their sort of web membranes and glide down to another tree trunk. Um, they also often uh, got this little, uh, little dewlap that they extend uh, when they're displaying. Um, okay, we're going to go on up to the Sipanga uh, National Park. Uh, just outside there, there's another uh, photography blind that we're going to visit um, with lots of uh, nice birds. This is a black-crested bulbul. Get um, striped-throated bulbuls down there. Um, a lot of birds coming into the uh, to the water feature to bathe in the late afternoon. This is the uh, puff-throated babbler. Um, other birds include the Siberian blue robin, um, black-naped monarch. Uh, and this beautiful uh, orange headed. She's a normally quite a hard bird to see. Um, but yeah, they also, also like to come in to, to bathe uh, in the afternoon. Yeah, a really beautiful bird. Um, not as many mammals down here, but you do get a few uh, squirrels and also um, this strange looking uh, mammal called the, uh, the tree shrew. Uh, we're going to go into the park to do some birding. Um, not, e not so easy the birding down here, but uh, when you do see something, it's normally uh, pretty special. This is a, a red bearded bee eater. Um, and this is um, the Malaysian banded pitta. It's really one of the most beautiful birds in Thailand for me. Um, and there's a few uh, individuals that are qu uh, quite tame in the park there, so it's really a great uh, opportunity to photograph them. Okay, we're going to head to the last side of the tour, the Krung Ching Waterfall. This is a nice place to look for the banded kingfisher. Um, a little bit of uh, digiscope footage here. You can see it sort of uh, lifting and dropping its, uh, its crest there. It's quite uh, a special bird. And there's some different trogons down here, like the scarlet rump trogon. This is the rufous collared kingfisher, quite a um, secretive uh, rainforest kingfisher. And uh, finally, this beautiful uh, green broadbill. Um, it's been quite an intense tour, so uh, yeah, you may want to spend a few days on the beach to, uh, to wind down. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you've been on this tour before and you're um, wanting to uh, have a little nostalgic look back. Um, or maybe it's a place you're thinking about going in the future. But uh, thank you for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed it.